What is up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can already tell from the title, 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 title and thumbnail, title, thumbnail, title, title. That is gonna be my new word, title. I have a brand new Harry Potter subscription box to share with you guys. And this box came all the way from Australia. This is the first ever box from Emu Post. Now, just to let you guys know, this box was sent to me for free to share with you guys. But as you guys know, I will always be upfront and honest with all of my thoughts and opinions. But a little bit about Emu Post. Like I said, this is an Australian subscription box. These boxes contain 10 unique magical items, mostly by Australian smaller independent artists which I absolutely love. You guys know I love supporting small businesses, small artists. So that's what makes these boxes so exciting. Now the cost of these boxes is $65 plus shipping. Now the estimated value of these boxes is at least $90 or greater, but there is also a mini box available, which is $25 plus shipping. And those will contain at least five magical items. So it's really nice that Emu Post offers two different options. Now, sadly, I really will say they do not ship to the UK right now just because of the restrictions and everything. But you guys should definitely check out their website, follow them on Instagram for all of the updates. Right now, I don't think they are currently doing monthly subscription options, but they do have the option to buy like a three month subscription or three boxes from them. And that way you do save a little bit of money. Plus you can also buy past box items on their website. So again, guys, definitely go check them out. Now, if you are subscribed to me, you might have watched recently-ish a video of me unboxing the Marauder's Box of Curiosities. Sadly though, the owner has decided that they are no longer able to make boxes. As they said on their Instagram post, muggle life is a struggle. Say less. Muggle life is hard. So sadly, Marauder's Box of Curiosities will be no more, but Emu Post will actually be picking up any outstanding boxes that has been ordered from the Marauder's Box of Curiosities and Emu Post will be continuing the book series that the Marauder's Box of Curiosities started. If you missed my video, definitely go watch that. The first book cover for the Australian edition was absolutely gorgeous. So I'm so happy that Emu Post will be continuing the book covers. I do believe from the third book cover on, but like I said, follow them on Instagram for all of the information. I'm just so excited to jump in this box. So let's go ahead and open this up. So this is what we see right on top. It looks like we have a letter. Ooh, with a Hogwarts wax seal. Dear Tabby, thank you so much for reviewing our first box, Shopping Street. We hope you enjoy the magical collection of items contained herein. Find out a little more about our carefully curated collection. Oop, and then this is spoiler, so I'm gonna save the rest for last. Another sneak peek. My camera is hating, hating that I'm wearing orange. Every time I hold something up, it like, I don't know if you can tell, but ooh, I don't know if orange was a wise choice, but I'm already committed. We're wearing it, uh, okay. <laughs> but the first thing I see is an enamel pin with a lot of glitter in there. Wow, okay, let me get the backing. Ooh, no, glitter stay, stay glitter. Yes, we have a little enamel pin of Ollivander's wand shop. This is so cute and tiny. I honestly think this might be the smallest pin in my entire collection now. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not mad about that. Y'all, I'm already running out of room on my pin board. The Wizarding Trunk lately has been putting out some massive, massive enamel pins. So my brand new pin board, which is massive, is over halfway full. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm a really big fan of this really small Harry Potter pen. And I will say, even though this is really small, the detail on here is amazing. We can see the O on here for Ollivander. We have stars. We even have a white owl detail on here, maybe for Hedwig. So I will say, great start to the box, guys. I love this. It is so freaking cute. Like, wow. <laughs> 
And next, it looks like we got some stickers. The first one looks like it's a pink crystal with some flowers. And then we have Hedwig sitting on a box. Looks like he just delivered some outpost. And then last but not least, we have a box from none other than Weasley Wizard Wheezes. So maybe I am actually wearing the perfect shirt for this video. Now I know stickers aren't for everyone, but as I always say, you guys know I love stickers. I collect Harry Potter stickers. So needless to say, I'm a fan. And next we have a little maroon pouch. Mm. You guys, it's Gringot Coins. Oh my gosh, I just said in a previous video that I have been wanting to add the Gringotts coins to my collection and now I got more. You guys, I am literally so rich right now. I need to go get a vault in Gringotts. Needs to happen. So yeah, we have the Galleon, the Sickle, and the Knut. This is so cool and perfect for this theme because you definitely need some wizard money to go shopping in Diagon Alley. And next, it looks like we got some tea. We have the powdered root of asphodel, masala, masala chai, Australian loose leaf tea. Brew for about five minutes and enjoy as a relaxing beverage. Warning, combining this ingredient with infusion of wormwood will result in extremely strong sleeping potion, safe to consume on its own. As you guys already know, I am not a tea drinker, so this will definitely end up in my giveaway box, so I'm not going to rip it open or anything. But yes, some tea for you tea lovers. And next we have a white box with a Weasley sticker on there. Oh, oh, and I ripped the sticker. I was definitely not expecting that. For some reason in my mind, I was like, oh, it's a bath bomb. And then I opened the box up and saw eyes. <laughs> it is a pink pygmy puff. This is so freaking cute. And the fact that it's pink is just perfection. Perfection. You guys know pink is my favorite color. Oh, okay, guys, let me know in the comments down below. We have got to come up with a name for my Pygmy Puff. For some reason, cotton candy is the first thing I thought of. Like, she just looks like a thing of cotton candy. And she is literally so soft. I just want to sit here and pet her. My magical ball of cotton candy. Wow, I so was not expecting that. <laughs> and next, we have another little package. It looks like a bookmark. Okay, now I love this. Not only because, yes, it is a bookmark, and you guys know I love bookmarks. I collect bookmarks. We all know this, but you guys, it is personalized with my name, and again, you guys know how I feel about getting personalized magical items from the Harry Potter world, from the Wizarding world. It is an alterations tag from Madame Malkins. Wow. Okay, so it says name Tabby, garment Hogwarts robe, alteration him raised two inches, which is an absolute fact of my life. You guys, I'm 4'11". Everything has to be hemmed. Everything. <laughs> Salesperson, mem fail? Mem, uh, don't know about that one. Cost two galleons, balance due, full moon. It even has Madame Malkin's robes for all occasions sign on here. Please retain this tag. It even has some ribbon up here that looks like a tape measure. Now I know some people, mainly muggles, will look at this and be like, it's just a piece of paper with your name on it. No. No, this is a receipt from Madame Malkins for my robes. Like these are the items that I love getting from subscription boxes. This is creativity, this is originality. This little paper bookmark just made me so happy. Yes, yes, Emu Post. Okay, I pray to God I'm saying their name right. <laughs> they sent me this box and I'm butchering their name. Oh, that's so cute. And next we have a white bag with some twine on there. Oh, now this is gonna make my kids so happy. It is a bag full of candy. Okay, wow. We have a box of Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans. We got a handful of lemon drops, which we all know is one of Albus Dumbledore's favorite muggle candies. And then we have a lollipop. 
So pretty much some candy straight from Honey Dukes. Again, my kids are absolutely gonna love this. And next, it looks like we got a tote bag. And it's a Flourish and Blotts tote bag. Not a very big one, but I will say this is so cute. The quill is mightier than the wand. Magical bookseller. And y'all, look at the design on the inside. Lots of flowers, some trees. That is so cute. Again, not the biggest tote bag, but it could definitely hold quite a few books. And next we have an item that looks like it came directly from the Wizarding World. Very authentic looking. So it's like a faux leather kind of pouch that says broom care kit. Okay, let's open this up. Okay, this is blowing my mind right now. Okay, so when we open it, this is what we see. It has some pouches that we can put cards and stuff. And right here it says, Broom Care Kit Contents. Handbook of Do-It-Yourself Broom Care. A notebook. 110 Fleetwoods High Finish Handle Polish. One pair Tail Twig Clippers. And one compass. Quality Quidditch Supplies. Wow. And then right here we have some foiling that just speaks to my inner Niffler. Wow, that is so pretty. But yeah, like I said, guys, it's a notebook in here. And then in the back, we have a little zipper pouch that is holding our broom care supplies. So we have an actual compass. I don't think I have ever had a real compass in my entire life. It even has a little hole here so you could just hang it on your broom. One day I plan on getting my own firebolt. One day. And next we have our clippers, which look very sharp. So this is kind of dangerous. I'm going to put this down, but this is what they look like. And last but not least, we have our high finish handle polish. May also be used to soothe and heal small wounds and skin conditions. So this is an actual usable item with ingredients on the back. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I love this. Just everything, the faux leather case, all of the items in there, the notebook. I eventually want to get a Quidditch section on my bookshelf. This will definitely be going on there in that section. Wow, love this. And last but not least, I do believe we have an art print with an Emu Post sticker. It's actually two art prints. We have wizarding robes for all occasion. And then owls, I do believe for like the Owls Emporium that says barn, masked, pygmy, snowy, brown. These are so cute. A little more on like the cartoonish side, which definitely isn't a bad thing. Like I said, these are really cute. Probably not art prints that I would get like framed or anything. Honestly, I might use these more as postcards or something. So maybe when I do my 6K giveaway, whenever I get there, you might end up with one of these art prints with a little note from me on the back. Very cute. But guys, that was everything from the box. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card just to make sure I didn't miss anything. So we have the art prints, the powder root of asphodel tea, the reversible carry bag, the pygmy puff, the coins, the honeyduke sweets, the broom care kit, the wand shop pen, the stickers, and the tailor tag. Thank you again for supporting our very first box. We hope you have enjoyed opening it as much as we have making it and that the items inside bring a bit of enchantment. Much love and magic, Rebecca, Emu Post. As always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Oh, hands down for me, the broom care kit and the personalized bookmark were my favorite items. But I mean, that being said, I really loved the enamel pin, the pygmy puff, even our tote bag. I mean, I think the only item I didn't really like was the tea, which I don't drink tea, so that's kind of obvious. I actually thought this was such a good box. Again, especially considering this is their first box ever. 
And again, the fact that they included something personalized in this box just makes this box so much better. Like I'm legit a sucker for a personalized item from the Wizarding World. So yeah, overall, I am very impressed with this box. But as always, I would love to know what you guys thought in the comments down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you wanna join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms, and I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. So, what is up with my table? What? Okay, okay. Stay glitter. Yowza. Mm. Mm. Mm, coffee. Y'all, I just got off work, 12 hour shift. I'm gonna be drinking this coffee like it's air. Oh, Orlando, Orlando. Oh my God, y'all. Okay, so I do have to say one thing since I'm kind of pointing back in this direction. So this little table here I bought from Wayfair and it is completely broken. Like it opens, but oh, my pinky again. Mm. <laughs> You guys already hello are you not going to work today it's choking in the face i can't even put any of that in my bleepers bloopers because you just cursed a lot no but for real you're not going to work today I'm off. you've already started your vacation Oh my God, I hate you so much. Okay, well, I turned the air off, so it's getting hot. Just be prepared. I'm about to step out of a hot and steamy shower. Oh. Step into a hot and steamy shower. Mm. You are so annoying. I love you. No, I have makeup on. Aww. You were the genius that had makeup on before you... Well, oh, I was just saying, don't kiss my face, face. You can kiss my lips. I can always put more chapstick on. My face, face. You got a face. My up on face, your face. face. You got a face up on your face. Is that what you got? I will throw this lipstick at you. I mean, you can throw it, but you won't hit me. Bet. You can throw it, but you won't hit me. Come closer, and I'll yeah, throw okay, this at you. Okay, now I gotta move. Now, oh, okay, I gotta move. Oh, okay. <laughs> More stickers for my collection. Stay. Stay. No. Good God. Why do you hate me? There we go. What are you doing? Oh, that was your cat. Blame Kit Kat. I don't know where she went. Thank you. <laughs> Close the door, please. Diagon. Diag. Di what? 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 Asphodel. <gasps> oh. Got it. With some. What is this called? What is what is this called? Rope? Twine? 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 Oh, this is cute. I finished Hanel. Blah. <gasps> One ten. Oh my gosh. Okay, Tabitha. Ah, you're so cute.